How'd you, how'd you do in that? Great fun for the children. Really nice. It's really nice actually to see everybody out and all the schools getting together. and decor as a whole. With all the schools have done the Olympic theme and got everything going. In my lifetime, in your lifetime, this is not going to happen again. We are so blessed to have the, the flame coming through. The community always turns out. It's wonderful to see everybody happy, enjoying themselves. The children doing healthy sports and the, and the parents looking on with pride. <laughs> Well, I think you can see just from the amount of... The, we, we, were, we were a bit dubious about being on at 12 o'clock, not sure what we'd get really, but it's been a fantastic crowd, a uh, really nice atmosphere, so I think it's always good for things like this to bring the community together. Yeah, and the kids hugely. have loved it. The kids have loved it, because anywhere that you can give the kids a great audience to perform is, is something for them. And they do a lot of performing this lot, but something like that's really quite special. Here in Tring, we're not very far away from Stoke Mandeville, which is world famous for its rehabilitation of people with spinal injuries, and that is where the Paralympics started. So the torch is going to be starting off from Stoke Mandeville tonight, and at 11 o'clock it's going to be on the outskirts of Tring, where our runners are going to pick up the uh, pick up the baton, it's not the right word, pick up the torch, bear the torch, and take it through the town. We've got a peal of bells as the torch arrives in Tring. We're lighting the beacon that we had for the Queen's Jubilee, so that will be lit and on the whole time. We've got a storyteller, so if you feel sleepy, you can have a bedtime story in the bus shelter. Um, one of the pubs is doing a hog roast, we've got a cocktail party going on, there's bacon butties for sale, there's cakes, there's tea, there's coffee, Churches are open if you want somewhere a bit quieter and somewhere if it rains. Hopefully it makes people realise that just because you may have a disablement doesn't mean you can't compete in sport at the highest level. The history of the Paralympics comes from uh, London 1948. Um, Stockmanville, um, after the Second World War, there was a lot of injured personnel and that's how sort of it, it was implemented into the main games of, uh, of today. Over the years, some countries have really embraced it and some have not. In 2012, it means that people see that disabled people are just the same as everybody else. And um, I think it's wonderful that they're getting so much publicity this time, which is brilliant. I think it's inspirational and I think it makes us all realise that we might have a niggle here and a niggle there, but actually, you know, it's nothing. Um, and people can achieve so much if they really want to do something. It's a really wonderful thing and it's not till you're kind of tapping into it like I am right now that you feel a part of it and it's, you realise just how great it is. It's, it's a, an openness of mind that we need, that's, that's what we have with our charity and I think that's also reflected strongly in the Paralympics so it's a bit of a connection there for me. Uh, I mean tonight I'm very privileged to be nominated uh, by Wheelchair Rugby who I worked for 
uh, and played the sport for for a long time and carry the torch in this absolutely amazing event. And I, you know, I would love to be an athlete competing at the games. Next best thing, carry the torch, fantastic. Obviously there's a massive amount of attention. So it would be nice for people to watch the sports and actually realize that it's not somebody just getting out of the house for the day. It's a great sport to go and watch, get down to the venues and go and watch them. Well, tonight I'm running the, 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 the last leg in our uh, five-man relay um, in Tring. Um, it's uh, such an honour to be here to carry this torch. Well, th th this can only help. You know, it's bringing everyone closer together. It's creating a buzz around the country. Everyone's talking about it. We've got our elite players that have gone into uh, the village over the last couple of days. I was in Stratford this morning and the buzz around Westfield Shopping Centre is just unbelievable. <laughs> What I hope it's going to do is show the public that the Paralympics being the parallel games is not about guys doing this because they're disabled. These are elite sports people that just so happen to have a disability. Just because you're disabled, it doesn't mean you have to sit down and do nothing. You know, get off your bums, go out and do something. You know, concentrate on what you can do. And you never know, we might have a Paralympian sat in their front room watching this, you know, this event over the next 12 days that turns up in either real or beyond and they win, you know, multiple gold medals, we don't know.